Okay, I would like to thank you for joining us at this time when we brief the country of the updates that have taken place. Once again, greetings from the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Uh, we thank uh, Ugandans who have been patient and all other people in Uganda and uh, they have adhered the SOPs. We encourage you to continue uh, adhering to the SOPs because COVID-19 is serious and uh, we need to fight it together. Uh, the Ministry continues to work with other stakeholders, Uganda Police, Uganda People's Defense Forces, and the local leaders. We thank the local leaders who have kept us on people who want to enter the country on their own. And warn whoever wants to enter on your own that please use a gazetted point of entry and uh, ensure that you adhere to the SOPs. Out of our 56 points that are manned, uh, 29 of them did not have people entering or leaving, meaning that they were respecting the lockdown. And uh, we received 1,676 entries, as well as 1,676 exits. And the total is 3,352. So the number of people which was entering was the same as the number of people uh, which left. This does not happen every day. It can happen like once in a year. The travelers included truck drivers, uh, flight crew, uh, then we also have cargo flights, uh, which uh, brought in crew, and uh, we have people who are being evacuated and those who are being repatriated, plus tourists. We have had a number of deportations in and out, and many of you have called me asking me on many of them. But uh, yesterday we received someone called Fuller Milton from our border of Mpondwe and uh, Kule had just chosen to visit Congo on his own without passing through uh, the hands of immigration. So he was found on their soil without their permission and his motive was uh, also raised. He has been handed over to Uganda police investigation. Two Rwandans were also intercepted on 20 seconds. When they were attempting to enter Uganda on their own at our border of Katuna, they were successfully returned to Rwanda. On the same day, 22nd, three Ugandans uh, were returned from Saudi Arabia for mainly immigration offences. Immigration offences are these offences where maybe your days have passed, maybe your contract has expired, and, and, and you have not left the country. You are there illegally, but you are not doing anything criminal or anything that is embarrassing the country. Of course, many of you called me about someone called Sextorico. We also received him. Uh, from Japan, uh, having absconded from where he was supposed to be and returned. So the question is, why do others go home and why does such people have to be investigated? So when you go out there, and this is a warning to Ugandans, ensure that you don't do anything that embarrasses the country. If you do anything that embarrasses the country, the country will need to investigate and establish uh, whether they need to charge you or not. But avoid embarrassing the country. And uh, if you go out, please make sure you tow a line that has nothing to do with embarrassing the country. That's why you find when they return people who have overstayed for two, three expired contracts, 
where you are purely on immigration and there is nothing uh, to embarrass the country because you're just uh, acting as an immigrant who has gone beyond these days. So Ugandans who go outside there to make sure you are you act in a manner that does not embarrass the state. At our good of Padea, we received guests from the UNHCR Arua office on 22nd to try and monitor and evaluate uh, the impact and effects of the attack of uh, the rebels at uh, near Padea at a place called Zeu. They met uh, security and immigration officials at the border. All of you are aware of the 36 girls who were returned from Dubai. Uh, they were arrested in a, an operation and their offenses were purely immigration related. Uh, we coded them and asked and coded their addresses and asked them to go home. Who have invitation cards? As a Ugandan, such historical is entitled to enter in Uganda like someone else. And that's where immigration is so. If there is an issue, whoever is interested is handed over to that person. And that's why you saw the statement from the Minister of Foreign Affairs. They came specifically to receive such historical. Minister of Foreign Affairs and officials from the Ministry of Education. And we received and handed them back. So, uh, immigration has a role to answer, uh, to usher in people who, are in who qualify to enter the country. And among the people who qualify to enter the country include the citizens of Uganda. Regardless of where that person will be investigated for offenses committed outside or not, it includes tourists and flight crew and other people who are transiting, we give them an opportunity to pass through. So as the, the Minister of Internal Affairs on that, on the issue of people entering and leaving the country, such so historical is entitled to enter the country and therefore we enter. Uh, the other question was on thinking, I do not think that I will come here to think. I am a citizen of Uganda. And as I told you earlier, when you go outside there, don't embarrass the country. Even you, when you are embarrassed, you can prefer judges against somebody. You go and complain that I was embarrassed. That's so what do you expect the country to do when it is embarrassed. At least it should investigate and establish the extent of embarrassment, and then the rest can 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 can, can be handled after investigation. Thank you.